hey guys how are you doing i'm hoping you've all been fine this time i've been away and i'm happy to be back to give you another podcast today's topic is about the choice of being child free we're going to discuss some of the reasons people decide to be child free and the reaction people get from saying they're going to be child free so starting from the reasons a lot of people choose to live a a life without kids or decide to be child free because of the expenses as you all know okay if you don't all know kids are expensive it is not it's it's not a hidden fact we all know that kids are expensive because from the time this kid is from the time of conception to childbirth to raising this kid to them going to school to them going to college these are all expenses that are geared towards the parents and that's a lot of expenses because take an example of after conception one has to have in mind the fact that the expenses are going to change in their home they'll need to take prenatal vitamins go to hospital for checkups and such stuff before the kid is born after the kid is born you'd have to think about education fund health care fund most people decide okay i'm choosing to be child free because kids are expensive and it's a valid reason because not a lot of people have that money set aside when kids now become part of a family and yeah that's one of their reasons to decide they they don't want kids another reason is kids are a huge responsibility and since the child is born to them being an adult it takes a whole lot of responsibility on the parents and sometimes if these kids are not taken care in a good manner or in a manner that takes care of their well-being either mentally physically financially they end up growing with some unresolved childhood traumas because a lot of people right now they are living their lives but they still they still go through trauma that were caused during their childhood and this can be how they were brought up the people that were around them and how things were done for them this in terms make it like a generational thing because you find i was brought up in a certain way and now i have to bring up other i have to bring up my own kids a certain way and at the end of it you find a good number of people end up having having childhood traumas when they're adults and they don't they don't even realize it or they don't even have a way of working it out because first of all they don't even know the cause they just believe that they behave a certain way or act a certain way or something triggers them because that's who they are not knowing that these are some of the things that have been brought up by how they were brought up so for maybe someone says that okay since uh, i'm facing a certain trauma and i haven't dealt with it i don't want it to go to the next to my next generation so i'm choosing to not to have kids and sometimes even people just decide not to have kids because that maternal instinct has not kicked in when you grow up you are told oh this is okay most girls the fact that when you grow up boys are given toy cars while girls are given toy dolls this is because this girl is being taught of how to be a mother but sometimes you get that this maternal instinct does not click on everyone and why would you decide to bring to bring a child into this world if you don't have the maternal instinct to take care of them so yeah this is another reason why people decide to be child free another one is it creates more time for them personally i believe that when a kid when a kid is born into a family the family dynamics change things won't be the same way because you are the two of you 
husband and wife and then you decide to bring another human being now you become three wife husband and a child and things things won't things won't run the same way they used to run when they were just the two of you now you'll have to consider another another party because let's say you used to travel you'd wake up in the morning and say uh, today we are going on a vacation this place for one week now you have a child before you decide on going to this vacation you have to plan prior like you can't be spontaneous you'll have to think where will this child be when if you are not planning to go with him or her how will the person remaining with the child take care of him or her you see and for you to actually actualize a trip without having to worry about children is having plans prior so some people are just so much into having that free time they want to work out their hobbies they want to learn about themselves in different aspects and they want to have time more time with their partners and they don't want kids to come in between of this and so they decide to be child free being child free means you'll have more time to yourself and that means you have time to explore more about yourself and do things that maybe you've wanted to do for a long time yeah for me i think those are the main reasons people decide not to have kids and it's okay if you're not sure if you want kids or do not want kids because it's not written in in a stone that if you don't have if you don't have kids you won't be happy live your life sis because this life is too short to do things how people want how people want you to do things do them on your on your own way a way that makes you happy and a way that makes you feel fulfilled and if having kids is not part of your plan let no one change your mind about it and the reason i'm actually doing this topic is i am 24 and i'm not sure if i want kids so we are weighing out options but for me it's not a point of that i don't like kids i like kids but i'm like mm, and maybe until i am self aware like fully like aware or i'm um, halfway through the journey of being self aware i would have made my decision yes another thing about being child free if if you as a person decide to come up and talk about being child free there are different reactions that you'll get from different kind of people and the first one is the first one and the most hard of is people telling you that you are selfish and i'm i'm like mm, is isn't bringing a child into this earth and being unable to take care of them how they should be taken care of selfish according to me if you're deciding not to have children you're not selfish why would you bring someone into this life and then make them suffer see that's now being selfish let people live their lives if someone doesn't that doesn't want to have kids let them be they're not selfish they're just doing what to them makes them happy another thing is people tell you that who will take care of you when you get old and i'm like uh, uh even when you look at this this generation like this life most people if children when they grow older and they usually move out and go away into other cities they go and start life in other cities away from their parents and necessarily they don't take care of their parents what they do is just sending money if you if you start saving your retirement money early you'll still be you'll still be okay because you can pay someone to look after you look after your house and such thing because kids don't really take care of their old parents you know they're just in the sitting living their life most they have families and decide that they are focusing more on their family and their parents are just left in their homes with no one to take care of so according to me that point is never valid 
It's just the point people say because they lack anything to say. Another thing, let's say you are young and to early 20s and you, and you are in a conversation with people and you say that, okay, I don't want kids. Most people uh, who are elder than you will start saying, oh, you are still young, you don't know what you want. Wait until you reach your 30s. You will change your mind. And I'm like, mm. some people even know before before the, the age of 10, they know that they don't want kids. People just assume that mm, she's young, she doesn't know what she wants. People know what they want and it's not up to you to help them change your mind. Another thing is people people that decide to convince you otherwise and they're there that no you need to have kids kids make your life happier kids they don't do what kids do this kids do that and that's not necessarily true you can decide on other ways you want to make yourself happy you can go you can dive yourself into your hobbies make memories travel the world try out new things and that can make you happy as a person if that's what you like doing what you like making fun out of your hobbies okay hobbies are fun already but making them um something that sustains you and feeds your spirit till a good win if you are happy and you, you live your own life and as long as someone won't pay fee for your kids someone won't pay health care for your kid someone won't even spend one shilling to give you to help you raise your kid if you don't want kids don't let anyone convince convince you otherwise just because they think kids will make you happy kids can make you miserable other people other people even regret having kids to avoid being one of the people who regret having kids why not just not have kids other than let someone convince you into having kids and regret it later it doesn't and it doesn't it doesn't it, it doesn't really make sense and another thing that i find really annoying like in kenya if some some facilities if you want to have a tubal ligation that means tying up your fallopian tubes so that you can't have kids they tell you that a man has to sign it, sign the form. And I'm like, mm? it's me who wants it. And I'm 100% sure that you don't have, I don't want kids. And I'm 100% sure that the money is coming out from my pocket. I don't understand why a man has to come to sign for me and it's what me want. It doesn't even make sense. And these are some of the rules that needs to be scrapped out because it doesn't make sense. And next time, next time you hear someone talking about the decision, <laughs> next time you hear someone talking about their decision to be child free, if you don't have anything informative to tell them and you're going to spend your time there wasting your words, convincing them otherwise, don't fucking open your mouth. Just shut the fuck up and let them be because people have different reasons as why they decide to be child free and you trying to convince them won't let them change your mind so just save your saliva shut the fuck up and let them be because if you your kids make you happy her maybe kids won't make her happy and that's her her decision the least you can do is let them enjoy their time enjoy their life and another thing that i find interesting is when women say that they don't want to have kids, fellow women are the ones that are here trying to convince you to to have kids. They are trying to convince you that they will, the kids will make you happy. And I'm like, mm, why is my decision hurting you this much? Just remove your nose from my business and let me be. Because why would you want to... To convince someone to have kids and you'll not be able to help raise them. So, women, mind your business. I know I have ranted at the end of this podcast, but some things just need to be said. Anyway, guys, I hope you had fun on this one. See you on the next episode. Bye.